for this week's member learning challenge. We're gonna learn how to paint daisies in a glass. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you my new experiment, how to prepare the one inch flat brush. If this is the first time here, push like the video, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. If you really enjoy learning with us, please consider become an Enjoying Art member. Let's start with the drawing for composition. I'm gonna put the glass in the middle over here. Just a little bit higher than the middle. Like that. I open this up a little bit. And this is good. Now I'm going to start painting with this flat brush. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how I'm going to train a new flat brush. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Okay. I'm going to take a look at mostly is a little gray color. So I'm going to get a little yellow color. Okay, a little bit red. Okay, they already have plenty of blue color over here. So I'm going to just a little bit more. Take a look at that. And I'm going to have this gray color and painting onto the whole thing so that those flowers it won't look like really um that's that's good have a little bit so i don't have to have the area feeling very isolated so make it like that so the flower on uh over here i'm gonna leave the petals a little bit lighter so maybe at least, at least this couple is a little bit lighter. And this one is a little bit, a uh, little bit gray like that. And I have a little bit gray over here. And the bottom over here, I have a little gray. My coming over here, and this two petals, I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter. So I put the other colors, a little bit darker shape, a little bit later. Okay, like that, that's good a little bit difference okay I'm gonna continue with this and take a look at the flower over here on the top over here that too I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter and everything else that's a little bit I'm gonna even put a little bit blue color on this on those petals like that that's good this petal a little bit blue as well like that that's good and take a look at this flower and mostly is white. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to just put a couple colors on this side over here. Maybe even a little bit darker like that. A little bit gray color. A little bit gray color on this side. Okay. That's good. So I'm going to paint around with this gray color to the entire paper so you won't feel it. Uh, later on, it feeling kind of like uh, those uh, with the background. It's really quite a difference. I'm gonna keep that painting into the entire background. Here you go. And take a look at and this the white color. I'm gonna try to mask a little bit later. Okay. And the bottom warmer color. So I'm gonna take. A little bit yellow, a little bit red and blue together. It will look a little bit. So I'm gonna for now. I'm gonna just put a little color over here, just for now. And here you go. And you can see the glass over here and those color. And it would be a little gray at the bottom. So I'm gonna have this come in. See that I can do the zigzag shape. Okay, on this side, a little bit great. Just put a little blue color to it. That's good. And I can actually also put a little bit of this color right there. That's good. Just for now, as the foundation. 
I make sure the whole paper is dry completely and flat, so you can touch the paper. The paper already returned the original flatness. Now I'm going to use masking fluid to mask all the light spaces. First, I'm going to use the soap bar to prepare. Make sure the masking fluid won't have the direct contact with the hair in the brush. Okay, it's ready. I'm using this masking fluid. I have the link in the video description. Just take a look at it. That should be good enough. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start from this flower. I'm going to start from the middle of the flower. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna come down to this flower. Mask the center. And here you go. And one brush stroke and coming up like this. That's good. There you go. And put it down and put it up. That's one and another one. So that's good. I had to take a long break. So the masking fluid is all completely dry. Now I'm gonna start coming to start painting. Okay, the blue color in the background, not just a winter blue green shade. It has a lot of the red shade blue color. So I'm gonna mix this two color together. So I'm gonna take more color out from this. It's already dry paint, here you go. Mix this two color together. Okay, this is pretty good. This is beautiful. Maybe add a little red color to it. Okay, it says think about what color you want. And this is pretty, pretty good color. And here you go. I'm gonna start from the top over here, coming down. And I'm gonna have even more Windsor Blue Red Shade. That's the color, beautiful. Okay, here you go. And coming down, and look as you paint. Yeah, more, a little bit more red color. And with the Windsor Blue red shade color, it's look like a purple niche. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, I want to make it a little bit thicker. Now take a look, I can go all the way down over here. And this is okay, all the way coming down to this area. I can now painting around a little, um, the little bit brown color, a little bit open like that, that's good. All right, coming down over here, still have a little bit little bit the blue color right underneath. That's good. I'm gonna make this a little bit, a little bit dimmer color. That's good. Now from here, that is the transition. I'm gonna take a little water. I'm gonna take more of the blue color. I'm gonna start coming over here. Just look, take a look at. Hmm, this is good. And the same level, right? Now, take a look at anything you want to keep, a little bit careful. No, nothing. It's just going to ping through this. There you go. And have some kind of blue color on the top over here. Looks very interesting. And whether or not I want it to be darker, dimmer, and one color or the other color, and this is wet into wet. I think this is good. And now I'm gonna come down to the bottom over here. 
I'm going to start soften this color. I'm going to start soften. Have a little bit brownish color. So I'm just going to take the yellow and the red color together. And with the blue color already on the paper, it would be merged into a little bit brown color. That's good. Like that. I'm going to softly connect that over here. And coming on this side. And a little bit more darker up there yellow and red with more like uh, orange color and I'm gonna merge this together right over there that's good now I come down to the bottom over here have a little yellow and here you go now I'm gonna have this gradually coming down that's pretty good okay right at the bottom over here I'm gonna start make a little bit reflection feeling and the yellow and the red and got a little blue color that's just pretty good maybe a little bit red okay that's good now i'm going to start looking at this here you go and the color need to be even darker okay like that and a little bit darker i'm going to make it a little bit soft and a little bit red again a little bit blue here you go, that's much darker. Here you go. Now I'm gonna get a little bit yellow. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come back over here. And here you go. There's a nice soft reflection. Like that. A little bit more blue color on the, at the top over here. That's good. Just tap it in. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna soften both sides. So they will be very good foundation for the background. Now I'm gonna have this. That's good. I'm gonna have this coming out a little bit. Just let the wet connect that into the bottom over here and on this side just water and here you go the color is going to merge together that's good all right this is a very nice transition star using the click of the brush now i'm going to add the uh, blue color now add it in here a little bit more water. Now there's a little drive at the bottom over here. I'm gonna let it connect it. Okay, like this. Okay, a little bit uh, darker color, a little bit gray. Okay, take a look. Yes, that's good. And one at a time, add the texture here. Here you go, that has some kind of reflection. Yes, gonna take a little bit red shade blue color. Here you go, like that. And the bottom over here now, you can see a little light. Like that, that's good. Have a little bit light over here, a little dry brush. This is good. And a little bit higher over there, it has a little bit brown color. Just take this color. Here you go, make this color a little bit darker. That's good. Like that. Okay. Here you go. Get rid of too much of the color accumulate here. Those are blocking. So I'm gonna lift this color up. And the same thing over here, just lift it up. So avoid to have too much wet accumulate at the top over here because the masking fluid like a three dimensional and 
blocking. Now the paper already completely dry. I'm using this masking fluid remover. Now I'm going to work into the flowers first. I'm going to put some yellow color into the middle of the flower over here. That's good. I'm gonna try to make it feel like three-dimensional. Um, and over here, I put this color, a little yellow color in the top. That's good. And I'm gonna have some a little bit brighter yellow color. So I'm gonna take this color in the top over there to put it right in here, a little bit more like a yellowish color. So make it some variety, some a little bit different. Okay, that's good. Now on the other side, I'm going to have a little bit warm orange color, like that. A little bit, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit color right here. If you want it a little bit softer, you can use the uh, soften the edge. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit yellow color on this side. And then coming over here, Drop a few drop in the middle and also on the edge. That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to start add some, I'm going to start doing a little liftings of the top of the cup. So first I'm going to use this calligraphy brush. I'm going to open it. Looks like a flat brush. I'm going to take a look at the shape right over here. Just use a little water to see how it look first. Okay, like that. And on this side, coming over here, and the edge of the cup, it should be over like this. And coming down all the way here. You can do that just with the water. And take a look on this side of the cup. It should be on this side, right here. In this case, the cup will look more like a reflected. Take it, thinking about this is the middle of the cup. Okay, that's good. Right over there. Now I'm going to start doing a little lifting. Now open the brush, have it come up a little bit. Now, oh, there you go. Just do a little bit lifting. Very gentle, softly. There you go. That's good. Now on this side. Okay, now I'm also going to add a little color to it to uh, reduce the shape for the highlight. So I'm going to just take a little bit of the gray color. This is good enough. A little gray color. Don't need lots of colors. Just have a little bit. Don't put too much. Now I'm going to put a little gray color in here. That's good. Like that. A little bit disconnected. Like that. And on this side, have come in a little bit. And that's good. I want to take a look at. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit light on this side. Just open up this brush. Just open it up a little bit. That's good enough. You don't want to lift up too much. So just open that wood enough water 
Okay. That's all right. Now I'm going to have a little lifting over here. And I'm going to switch to my fry brush. Like this. A little bit. Okay. This brush can lift up colors very efficiently, very quick. I'm going to add a little brown color in here after. Like that. That's good. Now, I'm going to take a look at the stem, the flower, and I'm going to have a little bit light shape connected this flower. A little bit. I'm going to have this coming this way. That's good. Okay. And this one is going to come in over here in the middle. That's good. Like that. I can make it a little bit thicker. Okay. Now I'll take a look at this flower. There you go. Like that. And let's see, this flower connected from here. Have a little bit lighter on the top of this. I'm going to have that connect to the middle of the flower. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to soften this. Have a little light, a little light brown color is going to set in here. At the end of this video, I'm going to dem demonstrate a new way to prepare your fry brush. So stay tuned at the end, and you're going to see. I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm going to start add a little bit gray color, a little blue gray color at the top over here. Let's see. I'm going to put this one like that. That's good. And this one, a little bit dry brush coming out. And I'm going to have something a little bit more blue. There you go. This petal, a little bit more. Get back a little bit more fade. Like that. There you go. A little bit more great. And here you go. A little bit over here. Now be careful, I'm going to make this flower a little bit uh, in front of the other one, so I don't want to have that cover. So take a look at, and right here, a little bit gray, and now I'm going to add a little bit blue color. Look at this petal, a little bit more blue color, like that, a little bit more blue color. Like this. Here you go. Now this one. And a little bit lighter. Like that. A little bit lighter. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look at this flower. And first, have a little bit blue. Start with this petal, like that. Just put it on. If you can do it one brush, don't do it two, with two brushes. And that's a little bit gray. Here you go. 
put it down and look like a little catch the shadow. Here you go. Something over here. Lower the big light. Lower the big line. That's good. And over here, a little bit gray color, a little bit gray color, like that. And on the back over here, I can shade this a little bit, it's just showing the edge, the contrast of this petals in front of the other flower. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take a look at the flower above it, okay, right over here. I'm gonna make this side a little bit blue color, looks like it in the shadow. Like that, that's good. Now parsley. Okay, parsley cover with the blue color. Like that. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit blue. And top over here looks like a little translucent. A little bit. There's one on the edge. That's good. Soften that. All right. This is pretty good. And the and the top over there, just give it a little big shadow. That couple line over here, a couple line over there, and couple line over here too. That's good. Now I want to take a look at this flower. It's quite a bit of gray color. I'm going to mix a little gray color in the bottom over here. This is other petal in the shadow side. That's good. Like that. And keep a little light. Like this. All right. And a little bit shape over here. Now on the other side, I'm going to have even a little bit of warm gray color. There you go. Like that. That's good. Okay. That flower looks much better. Now, okay. Now I'm going to come in to uh, put a little yellow color into this space over here. I'm going to try to squeeze the color in, make it a little um, look like a light green color. I'm going to squeeze this color in right here. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to also go and add a little yellow color for the stem over here. I'm going to start over here and then leave a little light shape on the top of this. Okay. Take a look at that and like this. And now this shape disappear. Now I'm going to just put over here, connect all the way coming down and to the edge. Like that. There's one. Very nice, and I'm going to continue with this one. And this is in front of the other side of the glass. And I'm going to add a little yellow blue color over here. Connect that. If you want to lose the color, just use the brush to move it a few times and then you can make the color softer and remove it. Okay, now on the other side, I'm going to make the color even darker. Here you go. I'm going to from here with a little bit red color. Here you go, coming over here. Like that. That's good. And some color is actually darker than the color what we already have. And over here, I'm going to have this color. Also, this stem from uh this white flower okay coming like that 
coming all the way to the bottom over here showing and on the top over there I'm going to showing a little warm color and here we go I'm going to have showing a little translucent and coming up a little bit like that here you go that's good I'm going to make it appear to be a little bit darker darker connect with the gray color have a little yellow mix into it and here you go that's good now connect this twist a little bit coming over here and coming in the bottom over here coming down okay that's good Okay, this flower, I'm gonna have a little gray color. You got this a little gray color. Okay, cover that a little bit. Okay, now this flower come together very nicely. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color on the edge of the glass. There you go like this connect it also on this side I have the edge connect it now take a look at the bottom now I'm gonna have a little bit details and have some orange color there you go some little orange color there you go little brown color little red That's good. Okay, at the bottom, I'm gonna have a little bit clear the suggestions a little bit more. That's good. Just a little bit soft color, and now I'm gonna come back to the flower at the bottom over here. Give it a little bit separation between those three petals. That's good enough. And I'm gonna have a little bit warmer at the bottom. You go a little bit warmer. You go make this a little bit darker. And that's good. And I'm gonna come here, open up the brush, and take that light uh, brown color. Now, a little bit softly coming like this. I'm gonna show you how to prepare your flat brush. If you already have this brush, you can start following my steps. If you don't have one, it's just go to enjoyingart.com slash brushes to order your set. This is a regular soap bar. This is a glue stick and any glue stick would be okay. The first step, I'm going to take off the plastic wrapper. Now I'm going to put it in the warm water. This water, put it warm. When you're looking at it like that, it's just quite open. The tip is just not get together. I'm going to put it in the soap. This would clean any oil or any dirt or anything inside the brush. So I'm going to use my finger, squeeze the soaps, get inside of the brush. 
Nahiga. All right, now I'm going to put it into the water. I'm going to let the soap clean all the hair. Okay, that's good. It's very clean. Now I'm going to put this brush into the warm water. There's still quite a bit of space in between those hair. The hair is not straight. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start put the glue onto the hair. There you go. And I'm going to start squeeze the glue inside the brush here. Now you feel like the glue blend into the water, making the paste. And you feel like now it glue all the hair a little bit more flat. Now you see the tip over here, so it got pretty sharp. But we cannot paint with the glue in the brush. But this is only a training process. Okay, now I'm going to clean the brush in the warm water. And use a two finger, squeeze the hair, try to straight all the hair. I'm going to put the glue onto the brush one more time. That's good. The glue now get inside of the brush. The edge of the brush, that is just beautiful. And we want it to remain this way. Okay, now I'm going to put it on my table and then leave it overnight. Now it's the next day morning take a look at the brush the shape still looks very good now I'm going to put it into the water gently with two fingers Now the glue already up the brush. I take a look at the tip. Now the brush just looks so beautiful. It's gonna ready to help you to do all the trick that I do in watercolor painting.